So how much do you really believe you can alter the situation you're in? How much do you really believe you got the power? You know, most of us, we ask the questions in a way which really allows us to get disempowered. But the empowerment questions, the inquiry questions, they're really formalized in a way that they give you a choice and you can really create some change in your life. Hi, I'm Sabina and I'm a love and relationship coach. And I would like to give you two examples of how you can change the way of how you're asking yourself things so they can empower you. So do, for example, do you ask yourself the question, why are men always treating women badly? Because you could also ask, what do I allow, what do I invite that men treat me badly? So the turnaround is very different. You can also ask, for example, or do you ask yourself, why I'm still single? Instead of asking, what do I get out of being single? Or what do I don't like about men, so I keep staying single? You know, we are so afraid of really asking the true questions in afraid of discover something, the real truth, we feel like we don't have the ability to fix it. But we do. Remember the quote of Albert Einstein. I hope I say it correctly. Um, the quote of Albert Einstein is saying, we can't solve problems at the same level they have been created. Or we can't solve world's problems at the same level they have been created. And that is also true for ourselves, because you could also say we can't solve our problems at the level, at the same level of consciousness we have created them. So we need to shift the consciousness that calls in courageness to look at it as in a different way, in an inquiry question, and to really to look deeply and then say, okay, here I have a choice. What do I do with it? Do I look at it? Or do I just be the victim of my circumstances? So I would like to hear from you. If you have questions, please PM me. I'm here for you. And I would love to hear you empower my questions. Have a lovely Friday evening.